Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our Mystical Motherhood series. I cannot believe how close we are to finishing this Let's Play. It makes me sad because of course it's one of my favorite ones and I know that it's a lot of your guys' favorite one as well. I know that this is how a lot of you guys found my channel, but yeah, we're coming up to the end. According to my list, we only have the Island Elementals left and the Ghost left. And in my opinion, they're pretty much the same thing. They're just ghosts. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to upload as much as I would like lately. You guys know I'm in school and we're coming up on the end of the semester. So um, yeah, it's quite busy, but I only have, let's see, four more weeks left. And one of those weeks is Thanksgiving break. So after that, hopefully I'll be able to upload videos more often than I am now. I've just been prioritizing my physical and mental health over anything because there was a moment there where I was just trying to shove way too much stuff into my day and it was just stressing me out and really like spiked my anxiety. So I have learned to slow it down try to relax, try to give some time for myself, and it's really helped me. So thank you for being patient, everyone. You have no idea how much it means to me. Um, I don't have a Celsius today. I have an Olipop. <laughs> These are so cute. Oh, it's like totally condensating. Hold on. Okay, so basically what this is, have I talked about these before on my channel? I don't think I have. I don't know, but this is another like digestive health drink. Uh, it has pre prebiotics in it, botanicals and plant fiber. And this is a strawberry vanilla flavor. I was not expecting much when I first got one of these. <laughs> I got it at Whole Foods. I cracked it open in the parking lot and I took a drink and I was like, oh my God, that is delicious. And I went straight back into the store and I bought three more. <laughs> so that's what I might be having today. It tastes, if you've ever had like Lifesaver cream savers, that's kind of what it tastes like. Mm. It's so good. I recommend the strawberry vanilla over the cherry vanilla because they have two vanilla flavors, but this one's definitely the best. I love how this channel is just like a beverage review slash Sims channel. How random can you get? But yeah, enough of that. Without any further ado, let's get into this episode of Mystical motherhood all right you guys here we are back in the mystical motherhood lot and it looks like tina's here to fix something again <laughs> um yeah i want to show you guys the plant babies room it is plant babies right yes the plant baby room so let's head on over i built it into the oh yeah and i widened this hallway oh shit looks so much better so much better but I put it in, I put the bedroom in the old vampire baby's bedroom. Changed the door out. I think we, do we need more lights in here? Why is it so dark? Well, either way. Oh, thank you. Who turned on the light? <laughs> okay, let's head in. Um, I wanted it to, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I haven't looked at it like this yet. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Okay. Um, I wanted it to be different than the patchy baby bedroom. So I I tried my hardest. I kind of went more of like a greenhouse vibe in here. Um, I don't know if you guys remember pe the patchy bedroom, but it was very like green. And I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I like this one so much more. Um, I love that Basil is already use utilizing his cute his cute um, <laughs> toy toy house. Oh no, that window. What that 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 should not be there. But yeah, this is the plant baby bedroom. I put yeah, that looks that looks pretty crazy, but <laughs> it is what it is. We've got this little dinosaur here eating a plate of vegetables. Um, and then in the water back there, I just put like the topiaries, but yeah, that's the bedroom you guys. I hope that you like it. Did I change anything else? I feel like I might have. I just organized the backyard a little bit. It was looking a little messy. Um, ah, still looking messy because <laughs> the toddlers. Um, oh my gosh. What was her name again? Oh, I totally forgot. Oh, I'm gonna have to check. <laughs> I remember Basil's name because I'm obsessed with that name. Uh, oh, I put some- I filled out the living room again because, like, 
This was filled at first, but I think with all the stealing and sharing is carrying glitches, like, all of the stuff was gone. So I put more plants in here, I added more decor just to fill it out a bit because it was looking very empty. And yeah, guys, that's all that I did for the house updates. Whoa, what, what, what did Santa just say? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to show you guys in editing. He was wearing something. And I'm curious. <laughs> okay, so we are working on Eve and Wally's skills. For Eve, we're doing logic, and for Wally, we're doing robotics. And then I asked you guys what you thought the bunny children's skills should be. We're gonna be aging them up in this episode, probably. Yeah, I would assume. And you guys said there was one comment actually. From uh, Versace Bones, painting and knitting. Since you dye eggs, so painting seems fitting, and knitting is just plain cute, so why not? Basil should do herbalism, and Ivy should do wellness. I think that's perfect. It's great. I'm 100% I'm for that, so that's what we're going to be doing when we age them up. But for now, we're working on Wally and Eve, but they're at school right now, so maybe we should just age up the bunny babies. I don't really want to. Oh no, they're back. Okay, okay, and their grades are up. Fantastic. Okay, Eve. Um, she's feeling depressed. Are you bullied? Oh, you poor dear. Okay. Just come over here and play chess until you can't play chess anymore. And then you, sir, tinker at robotic station. Over and over and over and over. <laughs> Regarding the ghost babies. You can't have a baby with a ghost. However, I read this thing on the Sims wiki that, okay, I'll read you what it says about ghost babies in The Sims 4. Ghosts in The Sims 4, regardless of age or gender, are unable to conceive a baby. There is no try for baby interaction for ghost, ghost, or ghost sim couples. The only ways to get a ghost child is to create one in cast through ghost parents or getting the death outcome when wishing for a child at the wishing well. However, because toddlers can't die and become ghosts, the minimum life stage to be a ghost is child. I think what we're gonna do is... I also downloaded a mod by Polar Bear Sims and it's called Ghosts Can Get Pregnant or Ghosts Can Try For Baby, something like that. But we can give that a shot as well with the Island Elementals. And I think with the Island Elementals babies, we're just gonna dress them just very islandy and not worry about the ghost part of them. And then for the ghost babies, if or ghost child, if we have one, yeah, how's that gonna work? Like, do whatever clothes we put on the baby, is it just gonna be like see through? I'm very curious, but I think we need a wishing well. I want to try that version first just to see like what happens i know that this is like a mystical motherhood series but i am like i'm intrigued in all things mystical in the sims <laughs> and this wishing well yeah it's very it's a very interesting item if you guys have never used it or know what it is it's from the romantic garden stuff pack i believe and you can make a donation to the well and then oh my god what is happening it's supposed to be a small dinosaur, but I freaking made it big and she's still playing with it like it's small. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> I just picture it being like made out of styrofoam and she's just like flinging it around. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, you can wish for things like one time in my legacy challenge, I made one of my sims wish for... Um, what was it? Wish for skills and it like maxed one of her skills. I think it was Olive and it maxed her mental skill or something like that. And I was like, holy crap, that's amazing. What in the world? What? I have never seen this before. Hey babe, wanna have a quick woohoo session? If not, we can just relax together. <laughs> Just a quick woohoo session. Wow, booty calls in The Sims 4. I'm dead. Ugh, I'm gonna have to pass on that though. I'm sorry. Okay, well, let's go ahead and age up the bunny babies. 
they have been toddlers for enough time, so yeah, let's go ahead and age them up. I'm very excited to see Max as a... What happened to your brows? Why do your brows keep changing? Um, Max as a teen. I think he's gonna be really cute, but let me just take pics of them as children so I don't forget. I got the new iPhone. It came in the mail yesterday, and I don't have a case yet. It's It should be coming in the mail today, and I just feel so wrong just holding a phone with no case, no screen protector, like nothing. It feels naky. Really like the phone though, like it's, it is chef's kiss, a fine piece of technology. All right, so let's go ahead and start with Max then. Okay, baby, let's see you as a child first. Oops, oh, okay. Interesting, very interesting, but you can tell he's gonna be a very handsome bean. So let's go ahead and age him up into a teenager. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's have a look at you. Did we ever look at what the flower bunny looks like in Cass without the suit on? If we did, I completely forgot. <laughs> but he's a really, really handsome guy. Interesting nose, but you know, it gives him character. Ooh, fierce brows. I like him, I like him. And he had one green eye and one pink eye. So let's see, let's see. Let me just, um, let me take off that eye shine. Give him a skin detail. Definitely gonna give him the bunny teeth. <laughs> I mean, it only makes sense. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this just makes me laugh. It's so cheesy. It's so cheesy. Okay, there. His eyes are back and then let's give him his hair. I don't even think- no, I don't have this hair. For teens. Uh, okay, what we gonna do then? What we gonna do? What we gonna do then? What we gonna do? We dress these babies in their Sunday best, so should I give him like a proper haircut? I really like this hair. I think it looks great on him. Uh, dang, I really wish I had the, his, his toddler hair though. That's such a cute hair. This hair is kind of similar to what he had. I love this hair, it's a good one. Maybe we should just do this. Okay, so now that they are adults, I think I have some bunny ears that we can try. Let's have a look. Yeah, I do. <laughs> They're like way too big for his head though, or way too big for his hair. Okay, we could try these ones. Oh, gosh. It's... Uh, they're just so cheesy. I don't know how else to put it, but oh my gosh, talk about cheese balls. But I'll keep it because I said that I would put it on them when they were teenagers, when they're adults. So we're doing it. And I'll still dress him in his Sunday best unless, 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 unless. Yeah, I don't. Okay, I, I thought I had like a bunny. I don't even know. I don't even know what I thought I had, but oh, this is nice. I like this. I downloaded that spring fling pack that a ton of you guys sent to me that came with like the bunny ears. It came with this like, like it's like kind of like an Easter CC pack. I kind of like this. Oh no, we got to do that one. We just have to. It just, it fits the vibe so well. All right, guys. So here we have Max. So since he's going to be doing painting, I'm going to give him the painter aspiration, of course. And then he will be creative and mm, let's do creatively gifted morning sim, perhaps something that has to do with like bunnies and Easter. Oh, I know. Let's give him vegetarian. Because bunnies don't eat meat. <laughs> oh, man. Can you imagine a bunny eating meat? Oh, my gosh. That reminds me of this book I used to read when I was younger. It was called B Bunicula. Like, a bunny Dracula. If you guys read that as a kid, too, let me know in the comments. Uh, okay, let's move on to Ruby. Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. You guessed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what she looks like as a child first and foremost. 
Oh, okay. You got some interesting skin details going on, but you're cute. I like your ghost skirt and your matching shoes. Very nice. Okay, teenage. Let's see. Oh my gosh. 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 I'm so excited to dress her. Wow, she's absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's have a look at her little toddler picture. So she has the same eyes as Max. Holy cannoli, you guys. I mean, wow, she's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's find you a hair, love. Um, I'm thinking maybe... Hmm, she had these like straight ponytails as a toddler, but I kind of want to give her curly hair. Okay, now let's see what she looks like with the bunny ears on. <laughs> I really wish there was a better option for this, but what can you do? Okay, these ears work for her. They seem to fit her head a bit better than the other ones. It's so annoying when their freaking hair clips with their bodies. Ugh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> Please take those dog tags off as well. That makes no sense. Oh, it's part of your shirt. Okay, right on, right on. So she wore, okay, she was wearing that like spotted onesie. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to put her in. This is very, uh, very, very Eastery, and I love this shirt so much. It's got all the pastel colors that we like around that time of year. Hmm. Just the hair, though. It's clipping so badly. Maybe we should just do a shorter hair? I like it. Oh, there's some more ears right here. Ooh, which ones do we like better? I think I like those better. Hold on, let me take the other ones off just to see. They're a bit shiny, but I mean, I don't mind it. Okay, let's do those for her. These tights came in that spring fling pack. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just don't know. I'm feeling very uninspired when it comes to these two. Oh, I know. We can do these Converse. And these come with a little accessory that goes on the shoe. Where is it? It's like a little sprig. Like a plant. Ah, here it is. <laughs> That's so cute. I think I might take off the socks, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's that's all I got for her, you guys. I know it's really rather plain, but there's only so much you can do to a bunny sim without making it look weird. <laughs> Since she's doing knit, is there a knitting aspiration? Oh my gosh, yes, there is. Okay, and then her, um, her trites. Let's see. Is that a bunny? I mean, we can do that. <laughs> Is there a knitting trait? I don't even know. I barely explored that pack. All right, let's do Maker. I think I think that makes sense since she's going to be knitting. I don't know if knitting actually... I don't know if these two things go together, but I guess we'll see. All right, y'all. Well, I hope you like their makeovers. I know it's not much, but I hope you like them anyway. So a lot of you guys in the comments, a lot of like the most liked comments on the last video was uh, you guys saying that you don't think Brenna and Servo are endgame just because <laughs> if Brenna created Servo and if she is like his maker then uh it's kind of like cr weird like Brenna's like his mom so I don't know it's kind of wrong isn't it so I think I'm gonna stay on the patchy train. Uh, we need to work on our relationship with him again then. Um, if we're gonna have the last episode be the wedding. Which I don't mind doing, but oh my gosh, she has so much romance with so many people. No, no Ted Guru. Okay, so we need to buy the knitting basket and we need to buy an easel. Let's go ahead and do that. Max and Ruby. <laughs> Ruby and Max. Beginner's yarn basket, super stash yarn basket. Um, let's let's do this one, the super one. Okay, so, Mr. Sir, or no, yeah, Mr. Sir, come over here and 
do a large classic painting and you my love put this in your inventory knit beanies blue bear beanie okay I don't know why but I have a feeling the knitting skill is gonna take forever I don't know why I just have a feeling and look at Eve already almost level five wild just crazy and why do I have all, do these kids all have these toddler bottles in their inventory how are you doing though with yours your robotics almost level four okay not as quick as Eve but Eve you did it you're done yeah <laughs> I don't have to worry about you anymore okay sell to collector bada bing bada boom let's do a landscape painting now and there you go sir robotics level four hooray she completed her first project a beanie time to knit another one dude max is already painting level three he just started these kids are all just next level who's this liam he's from my hundred baby challenge what's he doing here <laughs> crossover episode eh? spoiled peanut butter cookie gross servo has not gotten up from that spot uh-oh you okay sir be careful now bro ruby is such a quick knitter it's insane knit socks uh let's do pink raccoon crew socks what who's this who's this who's this why why is everyone from my hundred baby challenge showing up at my house why is theodore's angry ghost here this is not the same save file how weird how weird is that Dang, that's a fancy painting you got there, sir. <laughs> I can't take these ears seriously. I really can't. And I forgot to put the ears on um, Homegirl's <sighs> bedtime outfit. My mistake. She looks so relaxed doing this. Dang, I'm about to take up knitting. <laughs> Love that for you. Look at all these moodlets. From expensive furniture, cozy fireplace, decorated, growing up so fast, invisible from school, neat knits, making materials. Okay, yeah, from Maker Trait. There's a certain joy in making something you can hold in your hands. So knitting does uh, does contribute to that. But wait, from camping. When did we go camping? You're painting this painting again, fool. You bung! No! Ooh, let's see what sentiment she got with Wally. What? Why is nothing showing up? Sad day, it so says she has a sentiment. Lifestyle daily cap reached. Wow. What? That's lame. I want to see what it is. Oh, sentiment gain, you make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. Isn't that cute? All right, keep painting. What? Do you say good things about me? No, I don't actually. That's your daughter, Servo. I thought you were supposed to be a good father. What is this painting? Oh. That looks like something I'd paint. <laughs> Why do I still hear music? Oh my god, how long has that been going on? I heard the game like has a bunch of glitches since the new update and since the new pack. When I streamed last night, it crashed once. I got lucky, it only crashed once, but... I heard that the build mu music playing even when you're in la live mode was another glitch, so I guess I'm experiencing that right now, which is fun. <sighs> Let's hope it fixes itself right now. Let's see. For those of you who got the new pack, what do you think of it? I'm very curious. I had a lot of fun playing it last night on stream. Okay, it fixed itself. Thank goodness. Okay, sir. No TV for you. You need to keep tinkering. Also, who let you in? Why is this angry ghost in our home? Please leave. Hook up in bed. I mean, he is a ghost, but nah. We're saving that for, um... <laughs> saving that for Dr. Evil. <laughs> Do you think I'm a trustworthy person? Who are you asking that to? 
Oh, look, she's playing with Servo. Cute. Yes, why do you even have to ask? Okay, I don't know if that's part of like a mod or something, but I like that we can have a glimpse into their conversations. That's fun. All right, Max already reached level five painting. That was so fast. I'm shook. Oh. Okay, I see what the problem is. Every time I try to open someone's sim profile, it doesn't pop up and that's when the music starts. Okay, but if I go into build and buy mode and then back into live mode, it goes away. Oh man, you guys. I seriously cannot wait for Sims 5 to come out. I'm so tired of these Sims 4 glitches. <laughs> It's like something new every single update. And I, I understand like they need, they need to update the game because like the community is always asking for things. They're always asking for like new items and new like gameplay features. And when they do do that, it just like breaks the game. So I don't know, that's a cute painting. Was that a gravestone? I don't even know, but you can keep going. I got nothing else for you to do other than paint, so just keep painting. This guy is just like having very many issues. What are you at? Oh my gosh, yes! <sighs> These kids, I don't know what it is. Is it just like the traits that we choose for them or something? I don't know what it is, but they just, they, they build skill ab so freaking fast. Like I, I can't even use my words today, apparently. Just get to level five and then you can stop and take care of your needs. Okay? Okay, there you go. You freaking did it, Wally. Congratulations. You can stop now. <laughs> Use the bathroom, eat something, and then do something for your fun. Okay? Ruby is sleeping with mom tonight? I forgot to update their beds. I will do that now. Oh my gosh, these bed frames by Ravashin are so unbelievably cute. I love them. Okay, so we'll do those and then as far as the bed spreads go. Uh, that's kind of cute, but what else we got? Oh, here we go. I love just a plain, a nice plain bed spread. We can do pink and blue to match the rug. Yeah, perfect. All right. Go ahead and claim this bed, love. And then Maxi Max, you claim this bed. Maxi Max, a Maxi Max. No, she didn't put the dinosaur back at his plate of food. Bummer. Love a good storm. You okay, Servo? The social media career for Servo. I didn't know servos could get jobs. Oh my gosh. You know what? He's gonna need some money when we move them out. So there you go, servo. There's a job for you to take care of even Wally when I move y'all out. Okay. <laughs> Social media. Oh, you slay me, Sims. You slay me. Ooh, what you got there? Is that ham and sheesh? Enjoy that. Wasusa, Wasusa, what, what, Wasusa. All right, resume your knitting project. What are you at? Level three and a half. I think we can get it up. I think we might be able to move all four of them out in this episode. Wouldn't that be awesome? We're already done with Eve. We're already done with Wally. We're already done with Max, which honestly blows my mind, but it is what it is. Y'all saw it with your own freaking eyes. So we just need her to finish her knitting and then poof, they'll be gone. I think what I'm gonna do now actually is move out Wally, Eve, and Servo. Servo's just like really been bumming me out lately, you guys. La, la. I think I'm gonna put up my Christmas tree today after I film this video right there in the corner so that it can be in the background of my videos up until January. I think it would look really pretty there. 
All right, guys, so let's go ahead and create a new household for them. Create a new household. Wally, Eve, and Servo. We'll give them, let's give them 10 grand. Oh, the pictures, I totally forgot. Put that on pause. Let's go ahead and take them really quick. <laughs> I'm so glad I remembered this time. Don't miss out on dancing with Yamach Yamakan. Yamachan? Yamakan? I think the Yamakan's really cute. Definitely the cutest mask on The Sims 4. Dun 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 dun! Alright, let's bust out the photo studio. Alright, and what do we want to put in the background of the servo babies? What's this thing? I mean, that could be kind of cool. I don't know why we have this, but... Okay, there we go! That's kind of a cool background. So, Brenna... Uh, what's this from? Good company from adoring someone nearby. Cute. Alright. Take group photo of adults, Servo, and Eve. Let's go. Let's get some good pics. Cuties. But no, I don't want you to wear that outfit, Wally. Alrighty, guys, there you go. Pictures taken. That means that we can move them out now. Where should we move them out to? What city? Maybe Oasis Springs? Or Strangerville? <laughs> Bot. That's their household name. Bot. That's cute. Alrighty, brew. Let's do Oasis Springs. Let's move them into the land grab mansion and evict whoever they are living there. <laughs> All right, bye bye servo babies, bye bye servo. And now we're not gonna have any help in the house. Maybe we should move Patchy back in. Lifestyles are developed by habitual behavior. Looking to bring gaming to the next level? Try searching for the motion gaming rig in build mode. Whoa. Dun -dun 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 -dun. All right, y'all. So. We just put this in the inventory. Let's um let's see what we can do about this. Let's have her wish for a child without making an offering and see what happens. Um... Um... A bundle of joy. Ha! Huh. What a farce. The wishing well foisted an evil child upon Brenna. Surely the result of another poor parent's wish to be rid of the brat. So we just have this random kid now. Who is evil. Um... Um... Okay. We're gonna move her out, but... <laughs> I- I'm- I'm- that's weird. That's really weird. I thought without making an offering, you would get like the worst possible thing and a ghost child, I think is the worst possible thing. I'm gonna go ahead and move her in with Andy Samberg. There you go, Andy. Enjoy. <laughs> so I guess when we're able to, we will make another wish at the wishing well just to see what happens because I'm really curious about the, the ghost baby thing. Oh my gosh, we have such an empty household crazy all right guys i'm gonna see let's see where's patchy at i need to invite him over and work on our relationship again so that in the last episode we can have a brenna and patchy wedding and we can have um we can have like a reunion with all of the kids and all of their parents at the wedding I think that would be fun. Patchy! Hi! It's so good to see you. 
So very good. Let's flirt with him right off the bat. Nope. Don't want to go to your house. I'm sorry. <laughs> Patchy! I haven't seen you in ages. What are you guys doing? Go home. What? No. You already are home. Patchy, patchy, patchy. What are you guys doing? You getting your steps in or what? Okay, he seems to be taking our romantic advances, which is good. I thought maybe he was over us, but nah, he's not over us. How could he be? Wow! D Brenna just straight up told Patchy, you look really dumb wearing that. Oh. <laughs> Brenna, you're straight up evil. Why would you tell him that? Alright, I'm just getting them to, to woohoo to get their relationship up. Darling, 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 we need to work on your knitting. Resume knitting project. Bye, Patchy. Thanks for coming over. How to, how how is your guys' relationship now? Oh, it's fantastic. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I think it's pretty cool that you can um click on a couch or a chair and you can click knitting from there. I like that. Both of the freaking toddlers. Are making a mess at the same time. Ugh! I don't understand why ghosts keep showing up to our house. What's this? Aw, oh, someone made veggie burgers. All right, well, here's dinner, y'all. <laughs> can we make another wish yet? Okay, we can. Wish for child. Let's try it again. We're just gonna keep trying until we get a ghost child. As much as I want to have a baby with Dr. Evil, there's like no way that we can do it. It won't come out looking like a ghost. No freaking way. The whispering wishing well must have been created with the hates children trait and it's cruelly made Brenna temporarily unable to conceive. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, that really puts a damper on things, doesn't it? Oh man, those chippies look good. Are you serious, Basil? Are you serious? They're both doing it. Oh my god, I can't. She has knitted so many projects already. Still not to level five yet. Oh my gosh, we can knit a rug though? Yes! Let's knit a yellow one. That should take her a while. She's almost there. Almost level five, though. Night on the town, huh? That's a big no for me. Yes! She freaking did it! That was so fast. She can now knit the ultimate gift. Sweaters. Teach to Knit is now available so that Ruby can pass along her knowledge to other sims. Okay. So, is knitting a level 10? It is a level 10. All right. Well, congratulations, love. Go to school. You too, Max. Have a great day. And can Brenna make a wish yet? <laughs> I don't even know how long it's been. Dang it. I downloaded a mod where you can try for baby with a ghost. So I'm going to go ahead and try to... I'm going to invite... Yep, who is it? A warning should do. I don't even know what happened. Darumk. Let's invite him over. I wish that the new pack came with a new, um, a new mystical creature that we could have babies with. It's really bothering me that I can't open sim profiles. Okay, I'm having her summon the island elementals. Darumk, is that you? No, it's Rua. I need to wait for, for Darumk, because that's the, that's the guy we have the most romance with. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't see a try for baby. I wonder if that's because of the curse that's currently placed on us <laughs> or what? Oh, we can make another wish. Okay, let's wish for a child again and see see what happens. I think part of it has to do with like the facial expression that the well is making. Trying for babies nearly guaranteed to succeed while woohooing under the well's blessing. Okay. That was a positive thing that we got. Interesting. Okay. Um, 
Let's go ahead and try woohooing with him that him then and see what oh my god, why are they fighting? You guys are supposed to be peaceful and, and serene. What's going on here? Okay, why can't you guys woohoo? There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. I swear if this doesn't work with the well's blessing, I'm just gonna just bye. I'm done. This child. All right. Oh my gosh. We can take a pregnancy test. That's a good sign. Wow. Okay, well, what did- What did the well say? Trying for baby is nearly guaranteed to succeed while woohooing- Oh, so we have to, like, try for baby specifically? Okay, I'm trying again. We'll see what happens. That was quick. And it was a negative again. <sighs> I'm not really sure what to do then in this situation. It looks like we can pregnancy start, though, with a ghost. So, that's a good sign. Why is it showing him as not a ghost? Interesting. Very interesting. Or is that him? Okay, it's, it's, it's Jerump Curessa? Curessa. Why are there th two other people in The Sims named Drunk? What is happening right now? This guy, who's a completely different person, and this guy. Confused. Just very, very confused. Alright, I changed my settings with MC Command Center, so let's go ahead and try to woohoo again. One more time, and if it does not work, then I don't think it's possible. Ruby, my favorite sister, I'm bored. Come over here. Lucifer, honestly, that's really scary. <laughs> did you reach level five? Okay, yeah, you did. Okay, so we can move them out then, but please take care of your needs. Just take care of yourself, darling, please. Oh no, below average woohooing, yikes. Okay, this should work, and if it doesn't, Bro. Okay. Well, if you guys know of a way that I can somehow have babies with island elementals, you're gonna have to let me know. I tried every trick in the book, every trick up my sleeve that I know of to get pregnant by people, but for some reason it just doesn't work with them. And through MC Command Center, it looks like we can do a pregnancy start with a ghost. So that's a good sign. So that means that we will be able to kill Dr. Evil and hopefully like start a pregnancy with him once he's a ghost. And I love that the I love the idea that you guys had of um maybe making Marabella or Lucifer kill Dr. Evil and that'll be the way that he dies. Um I think Marabella should do it. I think that would be cool. Guillermo Murray. Who are you, sir? And why are you at our door? You must really like red. <laughs> So yeah, guys, next episode, we will age up plant babies, we will move out bunny babies, we will, of course, have the bunny pics, and kill Dr. Evil, have a pregnancy start with him, and uh, yeah, we'll have that ghost child. I'm not really sure. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. Maybe the ghost child can be the only kid that we have that will be a child, like in the child stage of their life, because if you can have a ghost child from the wishing well, I'm sure that there's a mod or a cheat or something that you can have to make the child, to turn the child into a ghost. So we can try it. At this point, I'm just like, I'm just grasping at straws. It's so it's so very unpredictable, but um, I enjoy explore exploring it, all the possibilities with you guys. It's pretty funny. This well makes me laugh. Maybe we should try this one more time before the before the episode ends, because I want the freaking well to give us a ghost child. That's all I want. Okay, he does not look. Does he look happy? Oh, oh. Oh! Oh! Okay, it actually gave us a kid this time. Um, I know it did for the first time, but it looks like this might be a good child. Winston Ayala. 
He's genius. I guess we could keep you around, Winston. I don't see why not. Since we're gonna have like a lot of space left in the house, I mean, I don't see why not. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one, which is going to be 100 baby challenge. And then the video after that will be not so berry. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for not so berry and I have been like dying to play it. So it'll be soon, I promise. All right, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.